party animals it's holly the twister sister back with another video tutorial for you guys let me know if you've been a long time watcher of mine you've probably noticed that i've been playing around with some different types of video formats let me know if you prefer like this where you can see me or if you like that overhead just seeing my hands in the balloon shot better or if you want both should i do both for each tutorial i don't know <laughs> So anyway, let me know in your in the comments what you prefer, because I am really curious about what people like. I'm just trying to figure out like what you guys are needing right now and how you prefer to receive your balloon tutorials. So uh, today we are looking through this week, and I noticed that Friday the 30th is going to be Arbor Day, which is Plant a Tree Day, right? So basically, we're appreciating trees this Friday, which I appreciate trees every day. But I thought, how fun would it be to come up with a new tree balloon? It's not something that you'll probably get asked for very much, but it is handy to know how to make different types of trees besides just your standard monkey on a palm tree tree. So today we are going to be making this cute little guy <laughs> inspired by the pine trees in my backyard. And of course, we had to give him some personality by adding some little eyes and a mouth. My five-year-old insisted the tree needed a mouth. So there you go. All right, so if you want to watch how to make this, stick around for the tutorial. But before we do that, I have a favor to ask of you guys. Pop that like button, please. Let's go ahead and show the YouTube algorithm that we love balloon tutorials and want to see more of them in our feed. And the best way to do that is to pop the like button. Thank you very much. All right, on to the tutorial. I am going to be using two nice darker green 260s, inflated about five to six pumps each one, leaving about a three to four inch tail doesn't doesn't have to be exact there and then I also have a mocha brown color balloon ready to go for the trunk we're not even going to twist this bad boy so it doesn't matter how much you blow that one up and lastly I have a white five inch round which I'll inflate with you guys to show you the sizing once we get to that point for the eyes so I'm going to start on my green 260 here that is blown up a little bit more than the other one and our tree is really just a bunch of loops okay so it's super easy this guy is a pine tree which is cute from the front with the face but then you can see how it look without a face this could also double as a pretty quick and easy Christmas tree um, in the winter so you've got a tree that'll last you all year <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start off by making our first loop. And I'm gonna, we're starting from the bottom of the tree and going up. So you want your loops to be bigger on the bottom and then get smaller as we go. So these first loops can be somewhat large. So about the size of my hand there. And to secure that loop in, you wanna grab the knot of your balloon and wrap that down into your 260. And once that's twisted around there, you can see the knot is here. It's not all wrapped up in there. Then you want to pull that through the middle of your loop to secure it. Okay, we need two more at the exact same size. So before you do your loop, squeeze your balloon out a little bit to soften it up. Fold it over, twist, and another one the same size. Fold it over and twist. Okay, we're gonna flatten out all of our loops so they're all facing the same way. Nice and flat. Okay, now we're gonna get to our next level up on our tree. And to get there, we're gonna need a little spacer bubble. So the tiniest, tiniest little bubble right here. Look at that nice little clover. <laughs> tiniest, tiniest little spacer bubble right there. And now we're gonna do our next set of three loops. And remember, we're getting smaller as we go. So these next three loops need to be a little bit smaller than these guys. Okay, so squeeze your balloon out, fold it over, make it a little bit smaller, and twist. Same thing again. And if you have enough balloon to do a third, go ahead and do that. If you don't, don't push it, because we have another one here ready to go. So um, this is a little bit too tight. This, this is like, I, I'm always seeing the shapes when I'm working, and I just feel like, 
this is the beginning of something, but I don't know what. Let me know in the comments if you see some new kind of creature. Oh, you know what? It kind of looks like that a character from SpongeBob with the long nose. Okay, let me know if anyone else sees that. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this elephant nose. <laughs> I'm going to have to play with that shape some more because I saw a whole bunch of potential there. Okay, I've eliminated the remaining balloon and I'm just going to tie in my next balloon right where that was. So nice little double knot to get it in there. Okay, and we'll finish this set with our third loop and get your remaining balloon coming out towards the top. Okay, so we have our two layers now. Uh, we're gonna try to get two more in and then leave something on the top. Okay, so we're just repeating the same steps now over and over. So small little spacer bubble. And now three more loops, smaller than the last ones. So it's gonna feel like you're too small, but trust me, they can't be too small. So we'll do one. two, and three. Okay, and the remaining balloon goes up. Now as you're doing these, it kind of helps you, if you're not really seeing it while you're working, it kind of helps to already start to alternate these loops. So wherever you have a gap between two loops, the next row, one loop is going to sit right there in that gap. Okay, and then same thing here. It's like laying bricks. So we got, you can see two here, one, two here. So just kind of alternate them so it fills up all those spaces all the way around. Okay, we're going to do another spacer bubble here for this set. And then we're going to come up with our very smallest loops. So as small as you can make them, just go ahead and make some tiny loops. There's a sizing on my little loops. Okay. We're going to try to fit one more in here. It's going to be a little bit tight on mine, but we're going to risk it. There we go. All right, perfect. I'm just going to straighten up this little top bubble a little bit. Oh, pop on me. Okay. <laughs> so there we have a great little tree shape. Now, mine came out just the perfect amount of balloon left over here to have just a little pointy top on my tree. If yours did not do exactly the same way, you might want to put one last loop on the very top of your tree like I did on this one. So there's our three loops going around, and then this is an extra one that just sits on top like that. Okay? So either way, whatever you've got left over, just work with it and it'll be okay. <laughs> new motto for life. Just work with it. It'll be okay. All right. So now that we have, I mean, this can stand up on itself, which I was talking about Christmas tree earlier. This can really be a two balloon Christmas tree, which is nice because typically Christmas trees take a lot of balloons because you'll do like a five or six petal flower for each row and you want five or six rows all the way up. Um, but this is a nice option for two balloon I know it's April and I'm talking about Christmas trees. <laughs> Sorry guys, we're doing a pine tree for spring and summer and all these beautiful trees. Okay, <laughs> we're going to take our brown balloon now and I'm just taking the nozzle and we're going to twist it into the base of our tree right in the middle. So just wrap that nozzle all around those loops to secure it in there. All right, and now you just decide how long or tall you want the trunk of your tree to be. So I'm going to go about like that, twist it off, and we're going to get rid of the rest. However you like to do that. Scissors are fine. Okay, and then just take a look, even everything out. Got some brown peeking out there. Look how cute. Okay, so now that is great for just a tree. You could add little ladybugs or birds onto this or put it on top of a hat for a tree hat. I don't know. <laughs> are there any mascots out there that are pine trees? <laughs> 
the pine trees of Georgia. Mighty, mighty pine, the mighty pine fighters. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think if this is useful for anything besides Arbor Day. <laughs> All right, so I've got a five inch round and it's already underinflated. I'm gonna let even more out of air out of here. Okay, we don't need them to have gigantic eyes. So a little tiny bit bigger than a ping pong ball. Tie that off. And then we're going to twist it in half, getting that nozzle right in the middle. Okay, I'm going to set this. So you want to find on your third row up, you want to find a space like this on your third row up where you've got these two loops and then we're going to fit the eyeballs right in between there. Okay, so I'm going to just take that nozzle, place those eyes right there where we want it, take that nozzle, pull it back into our tree nice and tight, wrap it around a few branches. <laughs> okay, and pop it in there to hide it. If anything got out of place, just put it back. And you should end up with something like that. And then just make sure that you have your two eyes and then you've got one loop directly above the eyes and a loop directly below the eyes. And that'll kind of act like some eyebrows and some mouth area, give it some personality. Now for the artwork on this guy, I just, I like to go easy and fast, basic. You guys know me, I'm a basic twister. All right, so I'm just gonna do round black dots. And the thing with the eyes is you wanna get them closer to the, they wanna be closer together than they are apart, okay? Cause you don't want them directly in the center cause that's kind of creepy. You definitely don't want them far, too far apart. So try to aim for when you're drawing, it should feel like, ooh, I might accidentally touch that other balloon cause they're so close. But then when you back away, it's like, oh, they don't look that close, but it just feels like you're putting them close when you're drawing it. Okay, so I'm putting two little eyebrows there for some personality. And as my toddler said, he needs a mouth. So I like, I, I'm just really into the little half smile right now. <laughs> so a little half smile with a little cheek smile line. Now to really set this off, we're gonna do some white paint pens to give him the whites on the eyes. And those are just going to be big white dots in the upper corner. Look at that! Dee -dee -dee. So cute. Okay, so that is our Arbor Day tree tutorial. <laughs> Totally random, I know, but it is cute and it's fun to know, so you never know if you might need this tutorial. If you do, it's here for you on YouTube for free to come check it out. If you appreciate that, these trees are asking you to pop the like button and don't forget. Um, we've got clip art, we've got balloon animal related clothing and products, and our very special, very secretive membership for the Twister Hood will be opening our doors very, very soon in May. So if you want to get on the list to get notified when the membership is open to new Twisters, click the link in the description down below, take you right to it. So you'll be the first to be notified when we open the doors and allow new members to come join us again. If you cannot wait, I do have a couple of um, trainings that we have pulled out of our Twister Hood membership and you can purchase individual trainings. There's just a couple that we've selected to make available to the public. So if you wanna learn more about yard art or working with foil, mylar balloons, uh, we've got a couple of great trainings that you can access before you become a member. If you really need that information right now, it is available for you guys. So check that out. Um, and I hope to see you guys again next week for another balloon animal tutorial. Until then, keep twisting. Bye everybody.